know you're going to be editing for a very long time, and this is one of them. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm talking about my unsung beauty heroes. Those things in my routine that maybe don't get mentioned a lot, but that I think make a big difference. So if you want to see those things that I think deserve a little more attention, just keep watching. Let's start with hair care, because I am not a huge hair care person. I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to hair. I don't have a lot of lotions and potions that I like to use, but I do have a shampoo and conditioner that I can't live without, and that is from Trader Joe's. It is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle, and I've been using the shampoo a lot longer than I've been using the conditioner, and I like this because it feels very clarifying, it's minty, it's got peppermint, tea tree, and eucalyptus botanicals. I don't color treat my hair, so my hair is not very damaged, but I do think this does a good job of cleaning it without leaving it feeling stripped and dry. So like I said, I've been using this one for a long time, and I used to always use a leave-in conditioner. I used the Infusium 23 conditioner because back when I would get breakouts on my skin, I found that hair products would cause breakouts. And so a traditional creamy conditioner would make my skin break out, and the leave-in conditioner helped a lot. However, I don't have that problem with my skin anymore, so I've started using the Tea Tree Tingle conditioner, and I really like this as well. It's not super, super moisturizing. It's not like a treatment, but it untangled my hair. It leaves it feeling moisturized. So these two for me are a win and they're both like $2.99 at Trader Joe's. Since we're talking about showers, let's move on to a skincare product I only use in the shower. And this isn't something that really gets mentioned in my skincare routine videos because, well, I only use it in the shower, so I don't use it that often because I don't shower every day. Gross? I don't know. I just don't. But it is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser, and this is just a cleanser. There is nothing fancy about it. It doesn't have any fragrance in it, and it just gets in there cleans your skin, it gets a little bit foamy and it just rinses right off, but it doesn't dry out or strip my skin like most foaming cleansers do. The packaging works well for the shower too because you're not having to like open a pot like some of my cleansers. I would not use this twice a day. I think it would start to dry out my skin after a while. I like warm moisturizing cleansers, but for that every other day in the shower, it's a good one. Another thing you don't hear me talk about a lot here on YouTube is hands because I am not into the manicures. I actually hate going to salons and getting my nails done. I try to paint my nails occasionally, but yeah. I am not the person you want to hear talk about how to paint your nails. I'm just not. However, my hands do get very dry if I'm not careful, so I have a couple things here that really help keep my hands feeling nice and healthy and not looking too nasty. And it's a hand lotion and a hand soap. And these are from Thistle Farms, and I have the lavender scent in both of them because lavender is my favorite and it's a really nice scent, but all of their fragrances are very natural and pleasing and not disgusting. Hand soap is hand soap, it's just nicer than most. What I like about the hand lotion is that it is moisturizing without being greasy. This one does sink in nicely, it's lightweight. It's not what I use at night if I'm trying to have like an intense hand treatment, but throughout the day, Really, really good, pleasant scent, love, love, love. So the best thing about Thistle Farms and their products, they have tons of beautiful candles and body products, is that they are for an amazing cause. There's a residential program called Magdalene House, which was started for women who were survivors of sex trafficking and prostitution and addiction, and they were bringing these women off the streets and helping them heal and rehabilitate, and they found that these women, because of their past, they didn't have marketable job skills. So they started Thistle Farms where these women hand make all of the products and they work in every aspect of the business, and the business has just flourished, and they help over 700 women a year, so it is something very, very close to my heart, and they have beautiful products. I will list more information in the description box if you're interested in these or anything else, because, like I said, really beautiful products for a good cause. So while it is good to have a nice hand soap and nice hand lotion that's going to take care of your hands, all of that will be for nothing if you don't do this. Rubber gloves. Now, I know that this is not exciting. How many people do you see sitting around on YouTube talking about rubber gloves? But hear me out. Just hear me out. If you, like me, end up doing a lot of dishes and a lot of cleaning and a lot of things around the house, your hands are going to shrivel up and dry into old, crusty prunes without a pair of rubber gloves. You don't have to get expensive ones. I like to get the ones that are long enough that you can roll the cuff up. It just makes it a little bit easier. But 
Wear them absolutely every time you turn on the water in your kitchen sink. I mean every time, without exception, and you will notice a huge difference, especially in the winter and in the colder months, in your hands. One of my favorite little tricks, if I'm feeling like my hands are extra dry, is that I will go in with my hand lotion and really slather it on, then put on the gloves and wash the dishes. And when you have on the gloves, you can make the water really hot because it doesn't burn you, but it kind of warms up your hands and all of that lotion really sinks in. And when you're done, your hands feel beautifully moisturized. Find yourself a nice hand lotion, grab a pair of rubber gloves, the kitchen will be clean and your hands will thank you. I've got one more product for you today and it is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs. And this is leg makeup. Now I know that sounds weird, but you guys know that I am a total klutz. Like I drop shit, I break shit constantly, but what you may not know is that I also just run into shit. I have been known to literally walk into a wall because I'm not paying attention. The other day, I almost threw out my back cutting an avocado. Can't make this shit up, people. Can't make this shit up. So because of that, I get a lot of bruises on my legs. And then because I'm so pale, you can see a lot of veins and just discolorations. So anytime I'm wearing shorts, skirts, dresses, especially now that it's warmer out, I've got to have this. I used to try to use self-tanner on my legs, but that is just messy and really easy to mess up. And it just takes too much time. I don't have time for that. This, you can just throw on, give it a couple minutes to dry, and you're good to go. If I'm doing something casual, sometimes I'll just mix it into my lotion and put it on that way, but this works beautifully, comes off in the shower, and just makes me feel less self-conscious about my legs. So yes, this is a must-have, especially if you're pale or just a failure at life like I am. No shame. So those are my unsung heroes in my beauty routine, those things that are underrated but I think really make a difference. Let me know what yours are down below, scroll down to the comments and leave all that stuff down there because I want to hear what you think. Hop on over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Robin's Cup and hit that subscribe button so I can see you guys soon. Bye! Really, This has a really nice fresh minty scent which can kind of wake you up in the morning if you're tired, although I will say watch out if you get it in your eyes, it doesn't feel so good. But but that doesn't happen to other people other than me. You know, over the age of four. Three and a half? You know, I have no problem sitting down and talking to a camera. For hours on end, because I know you guys are on the other side. Like, I really feel like I'm talking to you, but there's something about waving that makes me feel like an idiot. Like, I'm sitting in a room in my house by myself just waving. I don't know. You guys, I told you that I knew that Beck would have a really good color combination. Would it be weird if I used this eyeshadow as a highlighter on my face? Yeah, I'm doing it.